Evening, everyone. Thank you for being here. <laughs> On behalf of Madeline and Andrew, Dave and Cheryl, Christy and myself, just thank you. Thank you for being our friends. Thank you for being our family. And just thank you for celebrating here with us tonight. It really means a lot, and we really appreciate it. We're so blessed to have Dave and Cheryl in our lives and to welcome Andrew in as a, officially as a son. So a father's relationship with his daughter is very special. I know a mother's relationship with her son is very special too, but it's different. Their whole life, you love them and you keep them safe. And you think to yourself, how can anyone ever love my daughter like I do? You think about it, and it comes and goes, and you pray that someday they find someone that will. You pray and you wait. Well, it's been a while that I didn't have to wait anymore. And I no longer had to pray for it because I know that Andrew loves Madeline as the love of his life. And we're doubly blessed because I know that Cheryl and Dave love Madeline like a daughter, like Christy and I do. Andrew, I'm so excited to officially welcome you into the family. You know, I've been outnumbered for a long time. <laughs> and now I have three sons and three daughters. It's been fantastic watching you grow and learn and become who you are today. I love our, 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 our weird conversations late at night about whatever's neat and cool in the world, and, and I so look forward to having many, many more. Madeline. You look beautiful. You amaze me. As long as I can remember, when you put your mind to something, consider it done. You've always put everything you've had into everything you do. And marriage, just like in life, it's gonna pay off. I know that you guys are going to be happy together. So I'll give you my two cents, you know, because everybody knows how I love to talk. <laughs> One of the most important things in your marriage that you cannot lose sight of, one of the most important things, and there are many, but it's not things, it's not this or that, it's not this car, that house, this job, all of that stuff comes and goes, but it's time. It's time to look into each other's eyes and just smile because that person makes you so happy. It's time to laugh hysterically, you know, so, so hysterically that no more sound is coming out and tears are coming out of your eyes together. It's time to experience new things and new places, and it's time to build your memories together as one. Never lose sight of that. Your mom and I, will always be here for you. We love you and wish you the best of luck. So everyone, please raise a glass and join me in toasting the new Mr. and Mrs. Dunkel. I love you guys.
Thank you to everyone who made this day possible, especially Fidel and Christy and my parents, and thank you everyone for being here. Well, it took nearly a decade for them to get married, <laughs> but I think we've all known for years that this day was meant to come. Maddie, today you became my sister, but really you've been my sister for as long as I've known you. You are fun, kind, hardworking, Not only are you a sister, but you are an irreplaceable friend. Andrew, as your younger brother, I've always looked up to you. From playing the same sports as you in high school to choosing to go to Oakland because you're already there, I appreciate all the advice you've given me and everything you've taught me. Thank you for finding such a wonderful person in Maddie and such a great family in the Carinos to make part of our family. It's an honor to be the best man at your wedding. So to Madeline and Andrew, may you always find joy in doing the little things together, like golfing, binge watching favorite TV shows, and of course, going to your favorite breweries. Cheers. Hello, everybody. My name is Addison Stewart. I am Madeline's identical twin. So let's see if I can get all of these out of the way really quick. I'm older by a minute and a half. Um, we shared a room until we're 18. We enjoy being twins. And yes, we only switch classes one time when we are seniors in high school. I get all of those. So one of the greatest things about being a twin is that you have a partner to attend everything with you. We had each other to sit with the very first time we rode a school bus to kindergarten. We had each other as volleyball partners our very first day of tryouts at Powers. And when we got homesick, we even could eat dinner with each other at the Brody Calf at MSU. Throughout every life event, we had had each other, and I could not imagine how hard life would be if I didn't have my twin partner with me through every bit and scary step of the way. Life has been a heck of a lot easier with you, man, and I thank you for that. And mom and dad, too, so thanks. Good plan. <laughs> <clears throat> Another thing about growing up as a twin is that from the moment you are born, you are constantly competing with one another. <laughs> who can do more push-ups? Who can do uh, paint the prettiest picture? Who can get the loudest laughs at the dinner table? Whether we like to admit it or not, everything is a game. And although it can be frustrating at times, like how Madeline would always get a little bit better grades than me, <laughs> it always worked out. Madeline is one of the most accomplished people that I know. She was a team captain in literally every single sport she ever played. She has graduated with honors and was a winner of a national scholarship in journalism. She has written a blog, has graphic design work published in books, creatively manages an app, and ran a half marathon just for fun. <laughs> Looking back at all of your accomplishments, Madeline. I just want to say you're welcome, because without me, who knows where she would be today. <laughs> All jokes aside, Madeline, I'm incredibly proud of you and everything that you've accomplished, and I cannot wait to see what else you have in store. So with being Madeline's twin, I remember when Andrew Dunkel started hanging around. And let me first start by saying, Andrew is one of the chicest, sharpest dressers that I've ever seen, right? I mean, he always looks so well groomed and so well put together. But let me tell you, Andrew did not look like this when we were sophomores in high school, okay? When they first started dating, Andrew had a buzz cut, he had glasses, and used to smile for pictures as if he was in pain. <laughs> but but he, was, he played sports, which we love, obviously. He was top 10 in our class, and it was very clear from the beginning that he cared for Madeline very deeply. Another thing about Andrew is that he comes from a wonderful family, the Dunkles. 
I remember when Madeline would come home from Christmas at the Dunkles with just bags and <laughs> bags of presents. She would get gifts from everybody. Aunt Lisa would get her something. Jack and Judy would get her something. Dave and Cheryl would get her something. So it was very clear that the Dunkles love her. And from the beginning, they have spoiled her rotten. <laughs> And the Carino clan has absolutely loved getting closer and closer to this family. In fact, one thing that I quickly picked up about the Dunkles is that they love to party. <laughs> and at a certain point, the Dunkles turn into the Drunkles. <laughs> and the leaders of the pack are sitting right here at this table. So watch out that you don't get uh, pulled into their shenanigans, everybody. <laughs> and after nearly 10 years of watching these two grow up together, they finally decided to make it official. And I could not think of a better person to be Madeline's new partner. <laughs> Maddie, you are my ride or die. Well, as twins, we like to say womb to tomb. <laughs> and Andrew, I could not be more happier to officially welcome in you into the family. I love you both, and I'm ecstatic to have the Dunkles to be an extension of our family. So if everyone could join me, please raise your glass. To Maddie and Andrew, may you always be there for each other to make life a little less scary, to push each other to be your absolute best, and to always keep the party going. Cheers.